Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to tell you that I just came back from the hospital and I'm in the mood to film a video because my dad's surgery went great. He's in intensive care right now, but he will only be there for one or two days. I saw him, I was with him. I had to leave because uh, he needed to rest, he fell asleep, but I'll be there back in the morning tomorrow. And I'm just so thrilled that everything went well and I wanted to share that with you guys. And also today I am swatching all of the mini Natasha Denona palettes that I have, which I don't know where I have the rest of them, but I have four of them here. Um, I will swatch them for you guys. And I also have all the Kaleidos um, crazy, crazy highlighters, which I've only swatched. I haven't found the opportunity to wear them because they're so intense and so like glittery. And I just don't know like how to fit them into my uh, makeup routine because um, I usually go for very non-shimmery um, highlighters that just look like glowy skin. So this is like the opposite of that, but I think they're really fun if you're wearing like a fun, crazy eye look at night or or you want to go actually with very uh, light uh, eyeshadow or just like a black eyeliner and wear the crazy highlighters or wear them as shadow toppers. So let's get started. Taking off my eye masks, prepping my lips with the Kosas Plump and Juicy. This is amazing, 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 amazing. It's so buttery. It's like a, a lip butter, but it's mm, just so incredible. I think my lips were dry in the last video because I stopped using this for like three days and they have it has done wonders for my skin, like wonders. Okay, let me move the camera a little bit. Okay. Um, so... I'm gonna prep my skin. As always, I just took off my makeup from the video that I filmed in the morning, but I'm prepping my skin again because I always prep my skin before makeup. So I'm using the Undefined Beauty r, &R Mineral Mist. This is a black owned beauty brand. I love supporting uh, black owned beauty, Latina owned beauty, small businesses from everywhere um yeah i love supporting different kinds of businesses even though i might buy most of my makeup at sephora but okay i'm going in with the guava glow vitamin c from glow recipe it's a classic oh, it's stinging my face a little bit it's because when i remove makeup like a few times a day or even two times my skin gets a little irritated but it's part of the job now I'm going in with a Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I haven't had any luck with. I'm not sure why, but it has such good reviews and I've seen so many YouTubers talk about how good it is that I'm gonna give it another shot right now. Ooh, it's stinging my skin. You guys, I don't recommend washing your face that many times a day, um, but it's fine. For my moisturizer, I'm using the famous Embryolis uh, light creme concentrate it's very very popular in like backstage makeup um a lot of makeup artists love this cream because it just goes with every type of skin doesn't cause any irritation it's a french brand but you can find it in the u.s i'm sure most of you have seen it somewhere then for the face glaze from in beauty this one was recommended by Khaki Reviews Beauty, and I love it. It's, I'll show you the finish. It's um, quite sheeny, but not glittery, which I love. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell a little bit how nice and good just glowy it looks. Okay. And then I'm going in with this Awake by Tarte Sunshine Stick. I just tried this a couple of times. Oh, oh no, it's a twist up. A couple of times, 
but I do find that it does something brightening to my under eyes. I've never been the kind of person to buy a bunch of like under eye brightening things because I don't like my under eyes to look glittery, but I don't find this to make my eyes glitter. It's just like a sheen, like I say, like that's what I like. And you, I mean, I have pretty bad dark circles, but I feel like this is very hydrating and look. No, you cannot see anything, forget it. But it's not that expensive, try it out if you need something like this. Mm. For my foundation, I'm going in with the YSL Touche Cla in the shade BD25. I most of the time go for neutral foundations, just one little pump. Uh, neutral foundations, cause um, I don't like it when it looks too peachy or when it lo looks kind of yellowish. This one looks a little yellowish, but once I blend it in, it's all good. Oh, and this is the House Labs foundation brush. How are you guys? How are you getting ready for the holiday season? Like, are you um taking advantage of all the black friday sales and the cyber monday and all of that it's crazy because it's just a bunch of marketing and it just gets you buying stuff that you don't need sometimes just because it's on sale so i've been like filling out my sephora cart deleting erasing a bunch of stuff from the cart and just like making my list smaller but i did end up buying like a bunch of stuff that I wanna show you guys and try out. I'm mostly buying the stuff just to do it for my now job, which is YouTube. Going in with my Cosas concealer in the shade 2.5. This is a little bit of a lighter shade. I bought a little bit darker than the new one that I got, but it's pretty nice. The Cosas concealer is just so great so so great i feel like it fits any kind of skin it's not like a really full coverage concealer but it does not like ask for any favors for other concealers it's really that good a little bit on my jawline or well, lower cheek to lift up the face and where is my sponge here Whoop. In the mirror, sorry guys, but I was well prepared. I'll use this. Well, I can actually do it on the camera. So you guys can just see how I just tap, tap, tap. The key to a flawless makeup is always, always making sure that you blend a lot more than you might think. I don't blend it as much when I'm filming videos so you guys don't get bored, but it's really important. I'm looking for my bronzer. I don't even know if I have one on hand. I usually um, get all the products before i start the video and i'm like making sure that i'm not missing something but um oh yeah i'm gonna be trying the milk bionic bronzer not sure if i should apply this with a sponge let's try it out i don't think i'm gonna be able to contour my nose with this but i'll use powder my face is pretty red well my nose is Let's add more concealer. That's a lot, but my nose is really red. So yeah, my recommendations for whenever there's like the Sephora sale or any kind of sale is to just not go as crazy or like in the moment. I try to um, just wait it out, think about it if I really want the product 
I mean, you can usually wait two or three days and the sale will still be there. Going in with the bronzer, you know, but just not doing like impulsive buys. Because then you're just left with a bunch of stuff that you don't need or that you're not like in love with, you know. I try to do my research, a lot of research before I buy something and really make sure that I'm almost sure that I'm going to love it. Um, I used to make that mistake of just buying stuff that was on sale because it was on sale. And then you just end up with a bunch of products that either end up going bad or just taking up space. So that's my recommendation. Really think about what you like, uh, like what you think you're gonna get a really good use out of and just don't go with all the crazy marketing on Instagram. It's just, it's hard because it's everywhere, but it's worth it. It's like saving a few bucks or a lot of bucks. Um, I'm liking this bionic bronzer. I'm not sure how this is going to work for my nose, but it looks all right. Going into the brow. Yeah, it looks all right. Right? I like it. It blends easily. Um, it's very, very light weight. Um, yeah, it's good. For my brows, I am using, oh, I am so sorry, guys. Where is my brow? Oh, I'm using the She Glam Pencil. I find it to be pretty good. It's super cheap. This is the Skinny Brow Pencil. And I usually buy medium brown or taupe or something that has no reddish undertones because as you can tell, my eyebrows have some red up in the front from a microblading I did a long time ago, but that's just like the only thing that I have left and a little bit on the outer corners. Um, and to me, that red is terrifying. So I always try to counteract it with an ashy tone. And I cover it up with a little bit of makeup. It's not that bad, but I don't like any reddish tones on my face well on my brows specifically or my hair mm -hmm. all right as you can tell my brows are definitely not twins they are not sisters they're like first cousins. One is always harder. This one's harder to brush. This one's harder to um, apply the, the stick. Well, the, yeah, the brow pencil, I mean, the stick. I think it's looking decent. When I do my makeup by myself, unless I'm in a hurry, I usually really um, take my time. It's so calming for me. It's like therapy. Um, I love taking my time with makeup. I just start looking like, oh, this needs a little bit more of this and like a little bit more of that. I'm applying a little bit of the Bionic Milk Bronzer on my eyelids because like I've said before, I don't like my eyelids to look very pale. Um, see, that makes it look better. For the blush, I am using the Rose Ink Blush in Anemone. Yeah, Anemone. I think I've only tried this once. Let me grab from my Ali Glines case, which I am in love with. And if you haven't seen her channel, Ali Glines on YouTube, she is amazing. She creates these amazing eye looks all the time. 
She has great recommendations. I really like this blush. It's very light, easy to blend. Some people say it looks like a toilet seat, but I don't mind. I think it's actually a cute packaging and it works really well. I always tap my brush on the back of my hand so I don't leave any like splotchy messes. A little bit on the nose. Always a little bit on the forehead. Maybe a bit under my eyes so they're not looking too pale, see? Then it just blends in. I don't like a lot of contrast on my face. I just like it all to flow together. Okay. Now I'm gonna swatch um, the eyeshadow palette for you guys. I hope it doesn't get boring for you. But I wish I had seen swatches before. Sorry, that's my house phone. I wish I had seen swatches um, before buying them. I couldn't find a video where they swatched all of them. Um, and I was too lazy to watch and look for videos where they swatched all of them. So I'm gonna be using one finger for each one. This is the mini retro palette. It's Natasha Denona. Like I said, I'm gonna be swatching all of their mini shadows that I have. More, 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 more. More, more. I like to show like really what you can create with. Okay, let me see. No, this way. So there goes a lovely glittery shadow. It's really nice grayish which i usually don't wear gray it's like a grayish uh teal color then i'm going in with a matte it doesn't like swatches don't always tell you the whole story about um oh god swatches don't always tell you the whole story about what the makeup will look like um it, sometimes it can look patchy on the swatch but be really really good you guys i suck at this that's so they have two three glittery shades and two mattes yeah i suck at this i will be getting better at everything that i do just practice and learning guys so that was the retro shadow eyeshadow palette i really like this the tones i feel like it works for day and night and i'm going in with this mini gold palette so it's Anthea Bia Dior Dark Sepia and Lodge. So let's go on to the swatches. Look at the palette. It's really beautiful. It's this is like out of my comfort zone uh, a little bit because it has more teal colors and green. I love green for clothing and stuff like that, but I usually don't wear green on my eyes, but I'm starting to like it even more. Okay, so there goes a matte shadow. Like, I'm, like I said, like don't always go for the swatches because sometimes bad swatches go really amazing on your eyes and blend beautifully. And other times swatches are amazing and the shadows are crap. But I will do an eye look and let you know what I think of the quality of the shadows. I think I've only tried one of these palettes once. And I honestly don't remember how good it was. Oh, I'm missing one of them. No, it's here. I already swatched this one and this one. Okay. Now I'm going in with the mini Sendo palette. The shadows are uncovered. Covered, das, stripped, bare, and star. It looks like this. It's quite beautiful. This is more in my comfort zone. Okay, I'm going to start up here. Down here. 
next 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 this one has only two mats i feel like they all have oh no some have more mats okay let's see oh that's a beautiful brown beigey pinky tone salmony then like a nice bronzed um mm, bronzed and silverish shadow wait am i missing something and the last one i think i'm missing one one two three four five one two three four five no so these are the swatches for that palette i'm just showing you this guys so you can see the color story and see what works well for you because all of the Natasha Denona palettes will have the same quality. So I don't think you have to worry about that. It's just more that, so that you can see the colors and see what which color story would suit you best. Um, yeah, now I'm going in with the mini Biba palette. This is Wink Plush Blaze Nude. Easy and Bruno. This is also very in my comfort shit, uh, comfort zone, but it only has one shimmer, which is like the opposite of the rest of the palettes. That's interesting, because the large Biba palette I think only has um, only has um, matte colors or maybe just very few, very few shimmer shades. So there goes the brown. My hand is kind of wet, so that's why it's looking so off. So let me dry my... <laughs> okay, well, now I don't have any color on it. Wait a second. This is a beautiful, deep terracotta brown. See, it stays like very pigmented on my finger. It doesn't swatch that well, but I'm sure this will work perfectly fine with a brush. You can barely see that one. That's the thing about not having the best lighting, you guys. I can't wait to get my good lights that I ordered online and my big light ring is in Miami, which is funny because I never filmed anything in Miami. My boyfriend has been pushing me out, so Look at the color story, it's quite beautiful and it will look a lot better on my eyes, I'm, I'm sure. My boyfriend has been pushing me to start my YouTube channel for so long. He's like, you're made for this, you're gonna be so good. Um, and I was always just like, so, um, I've dealt with a lot of like uh, issues with uh, drinking problems, before and I I'm about to turn two years sober with a few slips here and there but most of the time being sober I'm really really uh, feeling much better and like more proud about myself you know because I felt like a huge mess I felt like I was just hurting everyone around me and it's been it had been years and years of trying to get sober and I couldn't so I didn't have that like strength in me to start doing a YouTube channel. I was feeling just so low. And I mean, you can't be like drinking like a crazy person and then just um, film YouTube videos. Like it's impossible. Mm. And I just didn't feel like I had like, I don't know. I didn't feel like I could do it, but Today I feel much, much better and I feel like I can. And thank you guys for supporting me. Um, since I'm gonna go with one of the crazy highlighters, I wanna go in with um, a bit of a more natural eye look. So I'm gonna go in with the Biba Shadow, which only has one shimmer. I'll be quick, you guys. I'm filming another video because I just love to hang out with you guys and show you, starting with this one, and show you like what I love. I get excited, hope to get you guys excited to watch my videos as they're coming out. 
and I accept suggestions, gladly accept any kind of suggestions for videos or if you guys want to see anything, I will just buy it and show you guys. Always go on my, under my, on my lower lash line with the same shadow that I apply as a base. It's usually always a brownie color as a base. I could use this to contour my nose a little bit. Like I said, in my video in the morning, my nose looks so off on camera. Don't know why. Um, then I'm going in with this peachy shade all over my lid, going a little bit higher, just to blend the brownie color and add a little bit of a pop of color. Yep, looks nice. It's getting darker, guys, but I think you can see me pretty well, kind of, yeah. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm not gonna do any dark eyeshadow, a little bit of this brownie color, just on the outer corners. But I don't want to go too wild because of, the, like I said, I'm trying the crazy highlighters. Yeah, looks good enough. Oh, maybe a little bit on my lower lash. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I forgot to do my brows, set my brows. This is a Merit Brow Voluminizing Pomade in Brown. I don't even think I've tried this before. I just found it today. See, this looks like it's not very well blended, but it's because I'm doing it on camera. Um, but you got me, you just blend and blend until it looks amazing in the mirror. Don't go for what it looks like. In, well, no, why would you look at yourself in a camera if you're not filming? Never mind. Whoop, pretty good. So now onto the highlighters. And since it's a little night time almost right now, you can see it glow in a different kind of light. This is in the shade Mars Malter, Space Age Mal Mars Malter. They're all called Space Age. Let's see. Oh, dirty. See how it shifts? It's beautiful. I'm gonna add a little bit more. This is what it looks like. On my finger. So imagine this is a highlighter for your face, you guys. It's quite, quite crazy, but I know some people love it and I think they're super fun. Um, I have a favorite, but I'll show you that at last. The Moon Cruiser. This is like um, whitish pearl with some blue in it. It's also beautiful. Don't know what I would wear it as. Maybe like an eyeshadow topper. It is gorgeous. It's an eyeshadow topper. Look how reflective and crazy looking it is. Oh, I love this. I freaking adore this blue shade. I had forgotten how cool it was. 
Because like I said, I had only swatched them. Let me take them off. And I'm going in with the Comet Catcher. This is also like a whitish base of glitter with pink and purplish reflex. You can't really see this one on camera that much, but it's really cute. I like the last one better, but it's pretty cute. Which one did I just saw? Oh, Space Age, yeah. Now on to Diamond Dasher. Whoops. This looks, let's see what it looks like on my finger. This is like a goldy, 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 peachy, pinky shade. Oh, this one's really nice as an eyeshadow topper as well for that wet lid kind of kind of thing. So that was Diamond Dasher. And the last one, which is my favorite, is the Prophecy highlighter i don't remember why it was my favorite but i think this was the newest one this is crazy um i don't know the oh see there you can see it is insane look at that you guys Yes, this is what I'm using. I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow topper instead of using my regular shadow. I'm using this one. Oh, I was gonna use the Prophecy one, but I guess I'll use this one, which is the Diamond Dasher. And I'll use the Prophecy as my Highlighter. I'm gonna go crazy like ham with the highlighter. I love this as eyeshadow toppers. I don't know why I haven't worn them. I just tried them, but I haven't worn them out or anything. Oh, they look really cute as shadow toppers. And I can add a little bit to the inner corners and really make them pop. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm liking this. So yeah guys, if you're not into super crazy glittery highlighters, but this these are really smooth highlighters, they're just intense. But if you're not into these as highlighters, they look amazing as eyeshadow toppers. Now I'm actually going with the Prophecy, but I'm using this one to highlight the crap out of my face. Woo. Don't know what it looks like in person. Let's see. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I like it or not as a highlighter. I will have to look at this in the mirror and see and tell you guys. Oh, it looks much cuter in person. You can't really tell on camera. It's a lot, lot cuter in person. Actually, yeah, for sure it's cuter in person. Let me see how close I can get. Oh my God, you can see my pimples and my pores. Yeah, you see how reflective it is, but it's not um, chunky glitter. Finally, I'm gonna do my lashes using my Shiseido, my beloved Shiseido eyelash curler. And I'm trying this upgrade lashes from Wonder Beauty. Wonder Beauty has the best of the best eye patches, my favorite eye patches in the market. 
So I wanted to try the mascara. Even though, like I said, I'm very into tubing mascaras. But I still want to try the ones that I got that are not tubing. Because I know not everyone likes tubing mascaras. I don't think this is waterproof. Sometimes I like to wear waterproof because it keeps the curls better. So if I'm actually going out somewhere where I'm going to be out for a few hours, I will wear waterproof. If I'm just going to be chilling at home and do like a quick errand, um, I'll do regular mascara. Okay, I think that's good enough. So let me do a quick lip. I'm using the Kaki Liner from Thrive Cosmetics. It is probably one of my most favorite lip liners. And I'm going in with I Need a Rose Lipstick from Natasha Denona. It's a nudie shade. It's gorgeous. I feel like it suits everyone. Light, medium, dark skin tones. She has a really amazing range of colors in her nudes. And the, I'm going with the Lip Euphoria from Natasha Denona in the shade Mob. I find this to be light. And I don't, it's, it looks good on top of lip, like a lipstick. Otherwise, I find like it makes my lips too pale. So that's it, you guys. So these are the shadows that we tried today. And, uh oh, these are the shadows. So if you wanna buy them at Sephora, they're probably on sale soon, or they're just 25 bucks each, you guys. So I feel like it's a be the best way to get to try Natasha Denona without buying the big palettes, which are like, the Viva palette is on sale right now for 60 something dollars, but it's usually like 128, I think. So that to me is just like, it's crazy when I can get this ones for 25 and get a lot more looks out of them. So, yeah, guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you like and subscribe. I'll be bringing videos almost every day. Uh, like today, I filmed two videos, but I will be filming at least five times a week. And I would just love it if you comment. But if you can subscribe and like my video, that would mean the world to me. Every subscriber counts. For me, especially now that I'm starting my channel, it feels amazing when I have like views or anything. I just feel like, yes, I'm doing this for a sec. Like, I'm doing something right. So thank you for being here. Um, love you guys and hope to see you soon.